We love writing books together. We write half and then we swap and we rewrite each other's and then we swap again and we put them all together and then we hand it over to our publisher. And, and we can pat each other on the back. Yeah, Good we're job, very Kimberly. support. I mean, that's what, sort of what the whole project's about is women working together. We wrote this book because it was the next step in all the challenges that we faced. So the first book, The Girls Guide to Starting Your Own Business, was the genesis of this place and our PR company. And then The Girls Guide to Being a Boss Without Being a Bitch followed our path and our career and our challenges. And we used this next one, The Girls Guide to Kicking Your Career into Gear, to model how to really take something to the next level. Whether you want a promotion, or a race, or a new career, or a new life. How do you really inspire yourself, motivate yourself, and what are the tools you need to take whatever it is you're trying to do up a notch, or five, or 10? So what do you think about asking each other questions? I think it's a great idea. Okay. What would you tell women who felt stuck in their job? Well, I think they need to ask themselves why they feel stuck. Are they not making enough money? Do they not like doing what they're doing? Are they ready for a change? When Kim and I wrote these books, we, we realized that the biggest common issue that um, women face was a lack of confidence. I mean, a man only tells you how great he is, right? I was sitting at a Yankees game. There was a 22-year-old kid behind me telling me how important he was at work. How important can, can you, you possibly be? be? Right, there's gotta be a good middle ground. Sell yourself, but don't be annoying. We talk in the book about everyone counting on you not asking for what you want. What do we mean by that? A lot of times it's just easier not to do things. But right. if someone brings you the tough conversation, well then you have to face it. And so what we try to do in the book is really show you how to prioritize asking the tough questions and you know be prepared. Um, let them know why you're coming in so they can be prepared. You never want to take someone off guard because if you take them off guard then they're going to feel defensive. defensive. Right. And they're going to say, no, no, and put up all the roadblocks. How do perceptions change as you become a mother? And you're the perfect person to answer because you're the mother of twins. Two exhausting, lovely children. Um, yeah. Well, here's the reality, right? You, your priorities change when you have kids. Work becomes that much more difficult because you're sort of pulled between the two. And this is the most annoying thing. You know, you get pregnant, you come back to the office, and people think, oh, you know, you're not on your A game anymore because you have kids. Well, you may, in fact, be completely exhausted like I am, but it doesn't mean that I'm less motivated, less ambitious, have less energy, it just means that it's a little harder for me. It doesn't mean that it impacts anyone or anything else. Why do we think this book's important? Women face milestones every day and they don't know how to get to the next step. Any next step you face, this book is going to help you get there. It's going to teach you how to sell yourself. It's going to teach you how to ask for what you deserve. It's going to, it's going to highlight all the fears that women share and show you how to face them down. Right, because we've actually, or I've been lucky enough to create a work life that's really satisfying. And we, um, with all of our books, really want women to love what they do. Because if they love what they do, chances are they're going to have a pretty good life. Because mm -hmm. you spend how much, how many hours at work? Lots. Right.